So today is one of those days that doesn't happen too frequently, but happens every once in a while that I'm <laughs> feeling kind of lonely being all in a piano here by myself in my studio. <laughs> These days happen every once in a while. It doesn't happen honestly that often, but I don't know. It's just like here I am going through, you know, all this li these lists of potential video editors for me, and I'm like, yo, shoot, man, I kind of wish there were people around me right now. I'm like lonely <laughs> today. So I've been looking for a new video editor to work with my clients as some of the new video work that I've been taking on. Now I posted looking for a professional video editor a couple days ago, maybe about a week ago. Wasn't very happy with the results I was getting from people. So I created a new listing saying like, I think it's titled Modern Cinematic Wedding Video Editor. I'm like, because if I'm like, if you could do like those top notch wedding videos, like I don't know if you've seen these modern wedding videos, they're phenomenal, they're like movies. If you could do that, you could do anything. My goal with this is essentially to get a video editor that's better than I am. I want them to be so specially crafted in their craft that they're better than I'm like, I don't even know how you did that. That's phenomenal. Like that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to train anybody. Yeah, of course I'm gonna have to give them direction to my style, but like, I don't want to be like, hey, if you use this key on the keyboard, it's a shortcut. Like, no, I want them to be teaching me things. So I'm looking, I'm spending the time looking for the right person and hopefully, hopefully I find them. While going through these interviews, something that I'm finding personally kind of interesting that you might find as well, just take it for what it is. I'm barely, if at all, reading anything that they're saying and not even looking at their resume, pretty much clicking their portfolio is the only thing I'm doing and then scrolling through their portfolio and seeing what they li I like. Barely, I'm, so, like, I'm, I'm talking maybe reading three words <laughs> or skimming at most what they've written and I don't even look at the, port the resume. All I'm looking for is if they're qualified. So take that for what it is. Like it's important when you send people when you're applying for a job or something like that. Like that portfolio speaks for itself. If, if it's high quality, I don't care if you've never had a job before. If you know what you're doing, who cares? So like to be honest, not reading really any of that, not clicking this resume, clicking the portfolio. All right, let's work on this uh, Christmas song a little more. I wasn't feeling it on a Friday. Let's see if we can make it feel right today. So I whisper that I miss you and I face this holiday. December won't be merry no matter what they say. Would you like to go into Northport with me? You gotta deliver some packages, dude. Call me Santa because we're delivering packages. Oh, that's a nice shot, look at that. Oh, let's go. I was just driving and I was wondering why this light was on and I pulled, looked back <laughs> and the door was open. Like, bullet was like looking out the window while I was driving. I don't know how that happened, but that was scary. Give me your toy. Where's your toy? I know. You came down here. You want to play. I know. Where's your toy, dude? Where is it? That's not your toy. What are you doing? You being silly. Where's your toy? Huh? Where is it? Where's your toy? Go get it. Stop. Go get it. Go get it. Where is it? No. Uh, hey, that's not your toy. 